Welcome to a day in the life of the fish and invertebrate team at Georgia Aquarium River Scout Edition. Did you know that some Aquarius can have a green thumb too? The majority of plant life in River Scout is actually real. Our Aquarius spend a good chunk of their time tending to the plant life, not just the animals. But of course, one thing they do love is taking care of our animals. Our commissary team preps the food for our animals in River Scout, but our Aquarius work alongside them to know what each animal needs. For example, our giant puffers get a variety of food depending on their size and age, from mollusks to worms and even small fish. Super appetizing. Then each puffer is fed individually with tongs. They have such a good relationship with all animals around the aquarium, including fish, that they know Tony, the puffer, is not the biggest fan of worms, but he does need them for his nutritional benefit, so they hide the worms inside the mollusks. They also care for our piranhas. Yes, you are seeing that correctly. That is an entire chicken dangling from a string. Contrary to popular belief, piranhas aren't necessarily that aggressive. Just like most fish, piranhas actually are a little bit skittish and can get scared of sudden movements in water. So it takes them a little while to actually feed on the chicken. Don't let this video fool you. We stood here for 10 minutes waiting for them to eat. Then over the next few hours, they will pick away at that chicken. Not only do these Aquarius work in River Scout, but they also work with our lake sturgeon in our new Explorer's Cove habitat. The lake sturgeon, just like many animals of the aquarium, are target trained. So every day our trainers go in and feed them by target. This ensures that each fish is getting its proper nutritional value for the day. Oh, and just like every other animal trainer and Aquarius job in the aquarium, it involves a lot of cleaning. Clean habitats make for happy animals. Our fish and invertebrate team has one of the most diverse jobs in the aquarium where they get to work with the tons of different types of animals like alligators. Just like the lake sturgeon, our gators are also target trained. Gators are a little bit smarter than you might think. They know their name and they know their target. So the trainer asks the gator to come up to the target and then they are fed. In addition to all the different types of fish, the turtles, the alligators, they also get to work with rays. You might recognize this touch pool from above our River Scout gallery. These are our Matoro rays, and you guessed it, they are also target trained. Just like most stingrays, their mouths are located on the bottom of their bodies, and they have small plate-like teeth used for crushing things. The more you know. Thanks for joining us for another day in the life of an incredibly hardworking team, Fish and Invertebrate, River Scout Edition.